Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you about 10 different folding knives that I think would be good for EDC, that's everyday carry. And I'm going to show uh, less expensive ones and then more expensive ones and some small and some medium blade lengths. All right, but before that, let me just go over my EDC items. This is not going to cover any sort of weapon, okay? That would have to be a separate video. So I'm not going to show any, uh, any self-defense weapons. Uh, you know, some of these items might be multi-purpose, but these are all mainly tools. Oh, if you hear birds, yes, the window is open for, uh, you know, better lighting. All right, let me just show you some of the most useful features on this mini champ. First of all, if you press the shield, it has a little LED light. It also has a pen, which is very useful when you don't want to use the pen they have at a store, etc. Alright, and the scissors are probably one of the most useful things. All right, so that's mainly why I carry it. The pen, the scissors, and the little light. Alright. And the pea pod. I think this is called the split pea peanut lighter. But there. You can look up videos on that. Alright, and the little uh utility fixed blade. Shown that before. And that is the carabiner, so I can attach my keys. And I can easily separate these from my keys, you know, with that carabiner. So if I'm going to some building that does not allow pocket knives, I can just leave this whole module at home or in my car. The utility razor is the Gerber EAB. Seeing that, it's like a, I don't know, it's very cheap. You know, it's like 10 bucks. Right, and the knife, I've reviewed this. I did clean it up. All right, I did polish it again before showing it, but it is VG10 Edge as uh, SOG Vulcan Tanto. And the reason I carry this, well, first of all, uh, deployment is super easy. Second of all, it's a very thick blade, which allows them to make the hollow grind extremely deep. That's a very deep hollow grind. The sub tip is really useful for just utility stuff. And I like VG10. And, you know, it's about 100 to $110. So it is high quality, but it's not like so expensive that you would die if something happened to it. All right. All right. So here we have ten folding knives uh, that could possibly be good EDC for you. Now keep in mind, I'm not trying to show every knife out there because I, I'm not into making uh, overly long videos. All right. So don't ask me where's the skyline. Yeah, I love the Skyline too, but I had to pick 10 items, and I tried to pick ones that were, um, you know, not as, not as commonly shown. Now with EDC, you have a, a choice. Most people choose either 3-inch blade length or 3.5, and, and there are about 10% that choose like 4-inch. Let's just cover the majority here. All right, if you want the 3.5-inch blade length, and uh, you want something that's extremely high quality right, and you're willing to spend more you can get this for around a little less than 200 Bradley Alias 1 this has a G10 and then titanium you can get it full titanium also and you can get different finishes on the blade but the reason this is good is because it's fairly light. It does give you a substantial, a substantial blade, nice grind. 
right, it's a good steel and it's just very simple you see that there, there's no frills or weird extras on it it's a titanium frame lock with a good steel so I feel this would be a real good EDC if you want to go you know the uh, if you want something expensive and high quality but you don't want to go up to the three or four hundred range then the Bradley is good on the other hand if you want what I think is the best the best low budget EDC out there this is the Kershaw Nerve designed by RJ Martin 3.3 inch blade length so not too long not too short the reason why this is this this can be found for as low as eighteen dollars the G10 handle scales are very sturdy a lot more sturdy than on other cheap Kershaws which mostly use FRN it gives an excellent grip it's tough and again unlike a lot of the cheap Kershaws it is manual it's not assisted so it has no torsion bar to break you can open and close this 50 times a day there's nothing to break the blade shape is very functional for starting cuts opening boxes it's it's a hard use low budget knife and this this would be my EDC pick if you're uh, looking for the best value and you want a beater alright jumping around again if you want a small yet wide knife and you're willing to uh, go to the $150 price range the Sage 3 titanium frame lock this is uh, a very popular knife because it's S30V steel, it's a titanium frame lock, it's very solid, it's a convenient size. So overall, this is a great knife if you prefer around 3 inches, but you want something extra wide to give you more cutting power that way. Sage 3. Right, now, if you like the length of the Sage 3, but you need something that's more slim, this Benchmade Emissary this is a very very high quality knife S30V it is aluminum it does look it does have the look of titanium it's aluminum but if you work uh, in an office somewhere where you you need uh, a very small knife for your EDC uh, this is a great knife the opening super super smooth for such a small knife uh, has the Benchmade axis lock comes razor sharp this is strong competition to the sage it really comes down to you want uh, the width of the this blade is about half as wide as the sage so it just comes down to uh, how much space you have to carry your blade but great knife overall bench made emissary and that bench made emissary goes from anywhere from 150 to uh, more than 150 so if you want a small knife that's uh, more affordable twitch 2 great knife I believe these go for around 45 and this is very well made it's a lock back this is a very look how slim that is all right, and deployment super easy it's less than three inches so again if you need something small slim light solid solidly built and the blade shape basically if you took like a paring knife you know the type type of knife that you'd eat an orange with and you made it a little wider and you know as thick as a real knife you would have this so it's basically paring knife on steroids razor sharp so overall a nice mid-range mid-range EDC if you need three inches or less alright just skipping around a little more this is the Spyderco stretch this is a very nice EDC knife it has FRN handles so you know it's going to be very lightweight 
very slim and the ratio of the blade length to the handle is almost one for one so for such a short handle it gives you a lot of blade a lot of cutting power and this uses the ZDP 189 steel which many people call a super steel uh, it can retain its edge for a very long time and uh, it can, it's quite sharp now the blade length on this is uh, 3.5 inches so we're in that medium size category again if you like that length you want the super steel super lightweight and uh, very slim and short even when closed spider coast stretch and also the color is nice because it reminds it it looks like something a police officer would be issued that that color of blue so nice all around this is the sprint run but the regular black g10 one would be just as good for edc use it is a different steel but they both have good steels this is the super blue steel hitachi super blue um, the regular model has vg10 look look how uh look how short it is it's very short again the ratio of the blade length to the handle is almost one for one hello crows out there wire pocket clip nice flat grind you could get a lot of work done with this and with this with this um, knife I sometimes don't even know how they can fit this long of a blade into the handle because it is it is almost a perfect one-to-one -one ratio and it's a lock back very strong uh, the gray handle will pick up dirt so you might you might want to go with the less expensive black g10 if you plan to uh, use and abuse it all over the place all right, but Cali 1.5 or 3.5 excuse me great all-around knife would be good EDC and here we have the new Buck Pro Vantage these are the militarized ones with backspacer and desert tan flipper opening can also open it can also open it via the opening slot if you want to you know if you don't want to draw attention All right, very solid knife nice stone washed finish S30V all right, goes for you know around ninety, give or take you know ten bucks, but definitely I feel definitely worth it. This is my overall pick uh, for most people. This would be a, a perfect EDC blade, All right? Just because it is so solid, it does use very good steel, nice grind for your slicing, good grip. And uh, yeah, this is one of my highest picks for EDC. You know, just check out the review if you want the whole story. All right, and let's go. Let's go to budget shorter length again. This is the Kershaw Burst. Now this is a great knife. This I feel is like the successor to the Skyline. If you like the Kershaw Skyline, you're gonna love the Kershaw Burst because it's the same length. Uh, it has a stone wash finish. That just looks better than the bead blast and should also resist rust better than a bead blast and the opening strong it's easy if you want a three inch blade that's a budget blade all right and if you want one with an assist the burst is very good you know i i don't think it's better than the nerve but it, it's just different some first of all it's about 0.3 inches shorter alright so it's a little shorter it's obviously lighter because of FRN scales so yeah if you want something lighter shorter and with an assist like this I would have called this the Skyline 2 they call it the burst and these go for 
I'm sure you can find them on sale for pretty cheap. $25 or less it's on sale, so nice uh, budget beater. It would be a great little budget beater EDC. Alright, so there you go YouTube. Ten knives and a little discussion on their use for everyday carry. I wasn't trying to cover every possible knife. You know, I know a lot of people carry Spyderco Endura, Spyderco uh, Delica, Kersha Skyline, um, Spyderco Tenacious, um, and I also did not cover the 4-inch category because I think that would be a separate video, but I know people who carry a Spyderco Military. Alright, so maybe I'll do more discussion videos like this and cover those areas. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out of here.